I have T-Mobile internet in my hands. It's small and it's kind of cute. But is it fast enough for me to game? Let's check it out. I'm John and I've been testing out new ways to get home internet service, such as Starlink. And you can check that video here. And today, T-Mobile's long tease home internet service is officially here. The internet service is $60 a month with auto pay and has no taxes, contracts, or equipment fees for the modem, which doubles as a Wi-Fi 6 router. And the service takes advantage of T-Mobile's 4G LTE and 5G networks. And depending on your location and other factors, you can expect to see data speeds from 25 to 100 megabits a second with no data caps. So it's like tethering, but with no limitations. I do have T-Mobile as my mobile carrier and my average download speed on LTE, it's about 50 megabits a second at a latency around 40 milliseconds. So that's gonna be my expectation for the T-Mobile home internet service as well. Quite frankly though, it's just really nice to see that there are more competitive options in terms of the home internet space. Your starter kit comes with a home internet gateway which acts as both modem and Wi-Fi router, power supply, and an ethernet cable. Let's set it up! First thing first, you want to make a plan where you'll be placing your gateway. And depending on your home and your situation, you may have to move it around to see where you have the best possible connection. But for me, in my case, I'm going to be placing the gateway in my living room next to the balcony window. Once set, power it up and download the T-Mobile Home Internet app. In the app, it's going to pretty much guide you step by step. And the first thing it'll ask you to do is scan a QR code at the bottom of the gateway. One scan is going to ask you to wait about two minutes. And after two minutes, you're able to change the Wi-Fi name and password. A quick note, you're able to use your existing Wi-Fi router. And if you choose to do so, make sure to give it a new name and password for the T-Mobile router. Here at the top of the gateway, you'll see the status of your connection. And in the app, you'll see whether or not you're connected to the internet. But seems like we are, and we're ready to go. My friends from Asus was kind enough to send me their Tough Dash F15 laptop. And I know you're dying to know what the speeds are using T-Mobile's home internet. So let's run a speed test. First, I'm going to double check that I am connected to the T-Mobile internet, and I am. And the Asus laptop and T-Mobile Gateway both have Wi-Fi 6 enabled, so hopefully we can get some awesome speeds. And let's run some tests, here we go. Cool, the latency is at 46 milliseconds, and we're getting pretty good download speeds. We're hitting about 100 megabits a second right now. Cool, our average download speed is at 110 megabits. And our upload speeds are hitting about 15 megabits a second. This is pretty good. So I am getting decent speeds, might as well do some 4K streaming. So I am on YouTube. I'm gonna double check that it is playing back in 4K. Great. So it seems like everything is streaming fine. Everything looks clean and crisp. Gonna try to skim through and see if it's gonna follow up. We're all going to die. And it'll probably happen sooner than we like. But what if there was a way to escape the itself? There is a little lag, but that's, you know, I think it's fine. Streaming in 4K seems to be fine. Everything looks clean and crisp, and I'm able to go back and forth without any issues. The only thing to keep in mind is that Hulu TV is not yet supported on T-Mobile internet. That's something that they have to figure out in the back end, but YouTube, YouTube TV, Netflix, everything else should be okay. Next up, let's go on the video chat. I'm gonna give Rick Broida a call, AKA the cheapskate, to see what his experience is like using T-Mobile internet for about two months now. How you doing, Rick? Uh, I'm doing well, thanks. We are using T-Mobile home internet as we speak, so look good, it's okay? <laughs> Looks good, I'm on T-Mobile internet too, so it seems like we're both running fine here. <laughs> I've been running speed tests kind of, you know, sporadically uh, since the beginning, and I, I'm not getting really, you know, 100, 150 uh, megabits per second that's been promised. Uh, usually the average for me is more in the, in the 40s and 50s, that is more than fast enough. I mean, I can still, you know, do Zoom calls. I can still 
uh, you know, stream 4K video and just, of course, do my regular workload day to day, which is that's all that matters to me. So, are you gaming on T-Mobile Internet? Uh, you know, I'm really not a gamer. And since you brought it up, I have heard anecdotally that gaming can be kind of hit and miss with the um, with T-Mobile's gateway because there's a bit of lag. Uh, the lag tends to be a little bit higher than uh, with the traditional cable modem. Rick does say gaming might be an issue on the network because of the latency and the lag, but for my final test, I'm gonna attempt to play CSGO. So, let's give it a go. Move it, move it. A little bit of lag. So far so good, I mean, I, I just played around and it seems to be playing okay right now. It was a little bit of lag, but it was able to recover pretty quick. Well, that was pretty fun. I was able to stream in 4K, I was able to chat with Rick Broida via Zoom, and I was able to play CSGO. Overall, my experience has been fairly smooth. I didn't experience any network issues or network dropouts. I did notice that there were varying speed throughout the day. For the past few days, my average latency has been hovering at around 48 milliseconds, with an average download speed about 40 megabits a second. So depending on your location, the time of day, and other factors such as network congestion, that's something to be aware of. But if you're in the market for a new ISP, I'd highly recommend you checking out T-Mobile just because there's no contract or upfront cost besides the monthly payment. And if it doesn't work for you, you'll be able to cancel it. Plus, Rick had this to say. Now that there's this other player in the market, you have another bargaining chip. Uh, when the time comes to, maybe you want to renegotiate your rates. Like if, if you've got Comcast or another cable company, you feel like they're charging you too much and you find out that T-Mobile Home Internet is available in your area, you know, now you can call them up and say, hey, look, I'm, I'm going to switch to T-Mobile and just watch how quickly they are willing to renegotiate and, and give you a lower monthly rate. It's, it's well worth a phone call, believe me. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below, do you welcome these new competition in the home internet space? Let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you next time.